All right, shout out to my team this year, Brother Karab from GMS Miami. First and foremost, want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rahakwadash, which is to say the name of the Heavenly Father, in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, and the ancient Hebrew. I want to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, which are the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. I want to give a hearty shalom and much love to the sincere brothers uh, throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so in efforts of waking up the hopefully elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of one third of the Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans here in America and those of confusion, uh, confusion of face or the Israelite foreigners that are scattered abroad. Shalom. OK, and like you can see here, it says judgment versus judgment. OK, and that's pretty much what you see as a whole going on in the earth today. And the reason why is because the Heavenly Father uh, has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, man. Okay. And he's angry. And he should be because he's been uh, long suffering, first and foremost, for the nation of Israel. Okay. But he's been uh, observing and seeing all the wickedness that has been done on the planet Earth. Okay. Since its inception, man. Okay. And, uh, you know, once you come into the scriptures and you find out who the Most High is, what's his name, and how he moves, and. Um, what he wants from us and what he doesn't want from us, then that builds up the fear in you, man, and understand that the things that take place, you know, uh, especially life and death, you know, like the scriptures say, uh, uh, life and uh, uh, life and death are issues of the Most High. Roughly paraphrasing, okay. And but like I say, once you build up that basic knowledge and understanding that, hey, <laughs> the Heavenly Father is the one uh, 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 sending forth judgments on the earth, man. OK, and then that what that does, you know, is uh, put you in a sense of fear, man, which you ought you ought to be in a sense of fear of your creator. OK, it's just that people don't read like the scripture says, it says, blessed is he that read it. And our people don't read. So they don't even understand how that most high operates. They just think that he cares about their vain opinions or their vain heart. OK, and they can do whatever they want to do. And then when they're placed on the judgment seat. <clears throat> Or looking death right in the eyes, then they can say, "Thank, uh, please God, no." Okay, <laughs> uh, I'm here to tell you there, there, uh, there's a lot, a lot of wisdom and knowledge and understanding written in those scriptures. Okay, and um, uh, quite frankly, uh, it, the Bible says more than uh, the, the, the Most High knows my heart. Okay, and, and it does say that in the scriptures. It does say He knows your heart, but He it also goes to say that your heart is desperately wicked. Who can know it? Okay. Only the most high can know it. Okay. So, and, and you, you're going to be, de you're deceived by your own mind within itself. Okay. But like the point of the matter is, hey, the most high has been judging us as a nation, man. The nation of Israel. Okay. He's been judging us consistently since our inception. Matter of fact, let me get a quick precept. Wasn't in a lesson, but it just popped in my head. Um, this is, uh, let me see if I can find it. Deuteronomy. Let me see. This is the book of Deuteronomy 9. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, Deuteronomy 9 and 24. Matter of fact, I... Uh, yeah, I started 24. Deuteronomy 9 and 24. It says, Ye have been rebellious against Yahweh. Uh, from the day that I knew you, okay, and that says a lot, man, and that's that's a fearful thing, okay. And I was in the in the times of the wilderness, okay, when we be in a uh, pretty much uh, brought out of Egypt, okay. And the Heavenly Father saying he's he's been angry with us since he's known us, man, okay. Uh, now let's fast forward thousands of years later, okay, roughly three three to four thousand, maybe five thousand years later. How pissed is the Heavenly Father with us now, man? Okay, but hey, that's the beauty of this thing. The Most High setting up his men to go out and warn the people and tell them, hey, look, the Heavenly Father's coming back with uh, uh, approximately 6,000 years worth of wrath, man. Okay, and if you're in the way, hey, like the scriptures say, uh, alluding to Hebrews, the 10th chapter, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Heavenly Father. Okay, but hey, but, you know, with, with that being said, you know, yet and still, our people are just totally oblivious to how the heavenly father operates and then once you tell them uh, what's the what's the uh the most common uh response oh the heavenly father's been saying that for a long time okay or 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 uh yeah yeah we've been hearing people stand on the corner saying jesus is coming for years 
Okay. But what our people don't understand is the Heavenly Father has continued to judge our people since the inception. Okay. In the days of Noah, judgment, the flood, that was judgment. Okay. Um, uh, you, you, you speak about the Tower of Babel, you know, when the most high confounded the languages, that was judgment. You know, uh, uh, the wall at Jericho, judgment. Um, what else can I, uh, what comes to my oh Sodom and Gomorrah, although the, the majority of people there were Hamites and heathens, but th that's how the most high moves, man. He's all about judgment. Okay. You, you want to, uh, uh, you want to push wickedness and, 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 and all out folly, you're going to get judged, man. Okay. And like I said, judgments were always handed out, man. Always. It was never a time where the most high was slack. Okay. Like the title of this lesson. Uh, no, there's no slackness with the most high. Okay. There's slackness with niggas. <laughs> the most high ain't no nigga, man. Okay. Um, let me get a precept. This is Ezekiel chapter 12, and I started uh, 21. Ezekiel 12 and 21, it says, And the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is this that proverb that ye have in the land of Israel, saying, The days are prolonged, and every vision faileth? Okay, you see? So that proverb has been around. We're hearing that from our people right now to this day. Yeah, yeah, they've been saying that for a while, since the Bible days. That's the stupidest shit you could possibly say since the Bible days. Hello, we're still living in this. Man, everything is biblical. Okay, that's what our people don't understand. Hey, but they're going to find out the hard way. Okay. Uh, uh, Ezekiel 12 and 21 says, And the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is that proverb that you have in the land of Israel, saying, The days are prolonged, and every vision faileth. Verse 23 tell them therefore okay and this is the job of the prophets like he told ezekiel that's the same thing we're doing today we're set up in that same lot okay verse 23 tell them therefore thus say if your high will power i will make this proverb to cease and they shall no more use it as a proverb in israel but say unto them the days are at hand and the effect of every vision okay and that, hey that's exactly what we're doing alluding to amos the third chapter Seven verse before the most high does anything he reveals his secret unto his servants the prophets okay it's just that the people don't measure time okay especially the men okay because it's for men to measure the time diligently within itself okay or measure time and judgment you know but they don't have a perception of it so they ah yeah we've been hearing that but not knowing look this is pretty much around the time of the uh babylonian captivity so ezekiel went out prophesying and guess what Eventually, the Babylonians came, okay, and, 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 and destroyed Jerusalem and took all the goods out, okay? And that's what the Heavenly Father meant by he's going to cause that proverb to, to cease, okay? I'll read that again. Thus saith Yahweh, power, I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel, but say unto them, the days are at hand, and the effect of every vision. Okay, so it came a point where, yeah, they were scoffing and mocking at the prophets just like they're doing today. Okay, and the Most High showed his hand. And guess what? Nobody was saying, oh, the vision is for a far off time. Okay, verse 24. For there shall be no more any vain vision nor flattering divination within the house of Israel. Okay, verse 25. Okay, and, and you, you're seeing that today as well. You got these niggas doing skits like No Class Malone and that other uh, comedian who the most high put to death, okay, which was not ironic, which was a part of the process. You know, people have been getting put to death uh, 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 since forever for mocking the prophets, okay? But see, that's what happened when you don't read. When you don't read, you don't understand what you're up against, okay? It says, for I am, uh, for I am Yahweh, I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged. For in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word and will perform it, say if you have power. Okay? You see? And guess what? That's the same message we're saying today. Okay? This was, like I say, this was during the Babylonian captivity or before the Babylonian captivity. Okay? And guess what? We're saying that now. And we're in the Edomite captivity, which is the last captivity. And we're telling people, hey, look, the Heavenly Father's about to return and crush you niggas like roaches, man. 
okay? And, 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 and saying crush you niggas like roaches is being modest, okay? That doesn't really uh, 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 put into uh, perspective what the Heavenly Father is about to do, okay? Which, hey, if, if you don't care to find out, we don't care to, we don't care to get in uh, uh, detail to, to tell you. But if you do, we can we can break it down, okay? We can break it down. Hey, like the scriptures say in the book of Ezekiel, matter of fact, it says uh, this book is full of lamentation, mourning, and woe. Why? Because the people were not hearkening to the Heavenly Father, and therefore judgment pours out like dust, okay? It says, um, for I am Yahweh, I will speak. Salakia. It says, For I am Yahweh, I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged, for in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word and will perform it, saith Yahweh power. Again, the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, okay? And see, in the Most High continue to, continues to specify, it's all about Israel. Fuck these other nations, man. They were created to be in servitude to us, but we wanted to be niggas like them, okay? So he put us under them and judged us first, okay? It says, son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say the vision that he seeth is for many days to come. And he prophesied of the times that are far off, okay? Hey, hey if, if I had a penny for every time I've heard that, since my short time in the faith, I'd probably be a millionaire. Oh, yeah, I've heard that. Yeah, they've been saying that. But when? Nobody knows the day. Nobody knows the hour. Of course we don't. Okay? But guess what? The Most High reveals his secrets to his servants, the prophets. Okay? And we're telling you that it's close. Okay, but 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 the thing is, this has always been happening. This even happened with the first time a mass judgment was poured out on the earth in the days of Noah. Okay? And Noah was out there hundreds of years before it happened. Okay? But guess what? It happened. It happened. And that's the thing. If it does happen, and you haven't done what the Heavenly Father asked you to do, you're fucked. Excuse my French. You're done, man. Okay? Do you want to play with, with the power of the universe like that? I guess so. Okay? It says, um, uh, verse 28, it says, Therefore saith unto them, Thus saith Yahweh power. There shall none of my words be prolonged anymore, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, saith Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? And that's our message, and we're going to keep pro, 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 uh, proclaiming it, you know, amongst the nations. And that's what we do, man. When we go out on those hedges, we're pushing this vibration to the world. And that's why you see things moving. The Most High does things by his breath, man. Yahweh, he is. He exists. Okay? The breath. Hawa, you know, and that's what the prophets are the breath of the most high. We're filled with the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Shah. So when we go out and push his message, things happen, man. Things happen. Okay, it's not of us, it's of Yahweh by Shem Shah, but there's a pecking order. Okay, the most high decrees it, gives it to his son. His son pushes the vibration unto the prophets, and the prophets push it out unto the world, and things happen. Period, point blank, okay? But the point is, man, our people are still in that same mind state. That, oh, yeah, yeah, they've been saying that for a while, yeah. You know, down here in beautiful Miami, you go outside, it's uh, still, we're, we're in our fall. Still 80 degrees outside, you know. Uh, clear blue skies, you know, all beautiful. You know, nobody wants to hear, hey, hey, the most high is coming back to judge this place, okay? That's like the guy turning the lights on at the party, end of the party, man. You know, you lost track of time and somebody cuts the light on and say, hey, party's over. You're going to hate that guy. Hey, and that's what happened. That's what it is. They hate us for telling them, look, the days are no longer going to be prolonged. Heavenly Father's about to judge your wicked ass, man. Okay. Uh, get another precept. This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Uh. 3 verse 14 it says i know that whatsoever the most high doeth it shall be forever nothing can be put to it nor anything taken from it and the most high doeth it that men should fear before him okay and if you look in the history you dig deep in the history you know you see that the most high always moved that way 
He sent his prophets out, warned the people. They did not hearken. They tried to kill the prophets. They defamed them. They uh, 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 reviled them, spoke wicked of their names. And guess what? The Most High backed the prophets up, okay? And showed them to be true. And really, that's not the mindset of the prophet. The prophets are saying, look, a dispensation of the gospel has been committed to us. We have to go teach this word, okay? We have to. It, woe is me if I don't teach it. So we're not seeking out some type of glory. There's nothing to glory in, okay? We still have to work. We're still slaves. People still point the finger at us, saying we're bugged out and crazy. Hey, but we, we champion it. We champion it and welcome it. Why? Because we know for 100% surety the Heavenly Father is going to redeem us, man. Lord willing, we stay faithful in this thing, man. And, 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 and prove that the words we were proclaiming every week were faithful and true. We know it. We know it. But the world doesn't. But soon, it's going to be made manifest. Okay? Uh, where we at? Uh, verse 15, it says, That which have been is now, and that which is to be have been. Uh, Salakia. Verse 15, That which have been is now, and that which is to be have already been. And the Most High require that which is past. Why? Because the Heavenly Father is perfect. Okay? People don't do what he say. He's sending judgment like a flood. And the people lament more and it be wailing and gnashing the teeth. Okay? And like the, I, in Proverbs, the first chapter, the Most High say he's going to laugh when your fear cometh, man. Okay? And who is he going to use? His prophets. And we champion it. We love judgment, man. Okay? It might sound heinous and, and reckless, but it's in the scriptures, man. Okay? And that's how a righteous, righteous man is supposed to, is, is supposed to model himself. How? Being in perfection or trying to strive for perfection like the Heavenly Father, which is in heaven, which is also a commandment. Okay? And that's all it is. It's, it's, it's nothing of us. It's all Yahweh by Shemiah Shah. None of us, man. Lord willing, we were predestined to walk in this faith. Okay? Because, like we always say, none of us would, uh, 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 thought in our minds to be prophets when we grew up, you know, and be standing on the highways and hedges, you know, in the foolishness of preaching with garments on. You know, and being mocked by people and doing it diligently. No, no, never in a thousand years. But guess what? It's of the most high. And he's put his spirit within us. And that's what people are hearing. So when they mock at us, they mock at the heavenly father, not us. Okay. Uh, let me get one more precept. Verse 16. I do 2 Corinthians chapter 5, uh, verse 10. Okay, because this is what really what, what, what happens. Okay, you know, the, the Most High cleans the slate like he did in the book of Judges, sent out judges to uh, redeem the people, you know, or he had the Levite priests who uh, uh, did sacrifices for the sins, you know. But eventually, you know, like a nigga, you give him an inch, take a foot. You give him a foot, you take a mile, Okay. So the most high had to say, okay, I understand what I'm dealing with. I created them, okay? So I'm going to pour out fierce judgment. Fierce judgment to the point where there's scriptures that say, uh, 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 you know, Israel basically saying, look, uh, wherein has thou loved us? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me, man? You know? the mo Here it is, out of all the nations, the most high chose us to be uh, uh, separated unto himself, meaning holy, or consecrated to himself. You know, and our people were not a like it says, uh, uh, the, the uh, two of the dumbest animals. They know who their master is. But you Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, you don't you don't have a clue. You don't have a clue. OK, you believe that your God is the same God of the Hindus or 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 or, uh, uh, or the Muslims. They say Allah, you say God, but it's the same entity. Fuck out of here, man. OK, Um uh, Second Corinthians five and ten. It says, uh, "For we must all appear before the judgment, judgment seat of Hamashiach." Okay, so that kills that whole notion about oh, the time is for far off, it's prolonged. No, everybody has to uh, uh, appear before the judgment seat. Okay, and, and we're here to tell you in this generation, which shall not pass before the judgment of the heavenly Father returns, will uh, 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 all the, the wickedness that has ever been perceived or placed on this earth is going to be unleashed very soon all at once okay 
And rightfully so. Like I said, it's, it's over 5,000 years of wickedness being played out on this place that the Most High has to judge, you know? It says, uh, read that again, 2 Corinthians 5 and 10, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Amashiach that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. Okay, verse 11, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the Most High, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciences. So that's the reason, hey, we, the reason we do what we're doing is trying to make ourselves manifest before the Most High that we don't, we don't want to take part of your wrath, Lord, okay? And then we, 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 we exude the labor of love by going out trying to teach the other people of our nation, and what do they do? Fan the hand, mark, and scoff. But it's cool. It's cool. We're here to tell you that the time is not set off. It's not a far point, a far off appointed time. It's soon. It's going to be in your lifetime, you know. Um, but like I say, yeah, hey, nothing new under the sun. Our people have been saying that and they're saying it now. Hey, and that's what's going to make it so sweet when the Heavenly Father brings down his judgment and shows that he is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakak Wadash. Rock a thumb, I can shallow on.